Hello there, I just wanted to document this process of turning a 2D image into a normal map and a displacement map. So the final results will look like this. So this is the normal map and this is the, the displacement or height map that's created from this normal map. And this is quite a complicated and lengthy process, but I'll try to go over it in steps. So the first image is one I created. This image I then put into Lighter, and this is a free program that you can get on itch.io. It just generates the normal map for you. And you need to import an image with a transparent background. I did remove the background and then I exported it as a transparent PNG. I think I just left the settings on the default, but you can edit them in this normal map settings window. Because that isn't the final process, we'll then be using this image in um, Blender. I sculpted it. I, I created a displacement map. So if you go to the this setting here um, and this one in lighter and you change it to height map, you then have uh, a height map image. I put the uh, geometry, um, I've converted it into geometry since in this file, but I would have used a displace modifier to put the height map onto a plane and then applied the modifiers and turned that into geometry and then I sculpted into it more in the sculpt mode room and I, I did make a video where I showed the process of doing that. So then I had the normal map from Blender that. I decided to extract the light directions and this is a technique I've written about on my blog a few times but in order to do that I used a macro by James Ritson and it's channels to grayscale layers um, and I did that on the normal map and then it gives you these grayscale layers, which effectively are the, the light directions. It'll give you one for the, the right and the top and above. Then I used Krita and you can use Photoshop if you want. Um, I hand painted the light directions uh, using those as a reference. Uh, I used the airbrush tool because I wanted some nice smooth transitions. Uh, so I did that for all the different light directions. But once you've got those, so I've got one for the light coming from the bottom, the light coming from the top, the light coming from the right, and the light coming from the left. So once you've got those uh, four directions edited and looking a bit better, I used a program called Sprite Lamp. Um, this is the default image that comes with it, so you put your diffuse map, or that would be my the first image I showed you, this squirrel. So that goes into this slot, and then you put your light directions you've edited into these slots. So left, right, top, bottom. I didn't need to use the front, and I didn't need any of the maps. 
Then you go to this one and you hit generate normals and that generates the normal map and I already did that. So then you can uh, preview what that looks like in the render here. If you have a height map in one of these slots, you can also preview the shadows. So then I saved the normal out. So that was that result there. Um, and I did actually do a bit of a render preview in Blender as well, just to see how it looked. But I didn't think it looked dimensional enough, so I did another step where I masked out the parts of the squirrel. Uh, I just used Creature again. You could use Photoshop, you could use any editing software you want. That's in this file, which is quite complicated. I should have broken it up into separate files, really, because it just gets quite confusing sometimes. So I just had the individual parts of the squirrel masked out and I exported them all separately. Uh, there are macros for doing that in um, Krita and Photoshop I believe so Or you can go onto each individual layer and export them separately if you really want to torture yourself. So then after I had the parts, uh, I went back into Lighter and I put them all into here, um, then exported the normal maps. Um, then I recombine them in Krita. So I had this image. And then I combined that image with the one before into this image. And I used Krita for that. So I had the the one that I just showed you, the one from Lighter with the masked parts. There you go, there's a preview. And that's above the one before. And I've set it to the combined normal map blending mode at a lower opacity so that the normal map under it shows through and they sort of blend together. And this, this layer mode won't show up by default in Creator. You have to dig around um, into the MISC category and then you tick this and it shows up in your, your list here. So that's that and then I exported that normal map. Then I created a displacement map using that normal map and I did that using Pixplant. So I put the base colour in and I put this normal map in. Then you go to Extract 3D Maps and you click Displacement and you want to click the Normals and select the normal map. And then that gives you this height map from the normals. The one before was just creating the displacement using the base color. Remove the sort of gray background and put a, just a black background. And because I had the transparency mask for the whole image, that was quite useful. And then this image you can 
using a software like ZBrush or 3D Coat and or even Blender and you can just create geometry using that and I did actually go on to um, sculpt more detail using that this displacement map um, and I did make a video about that as well but this just gets gets you started just sort of gives you a bit of a instead of starting from scratch in the sculpting program you can use this process if you wanted to but or you could just use the sculpting program from from the start it's really up to you but that's uh, what I did so that's just one um, actually it's quite a few ways of doing it but that's how I made this image from a 2D image so I hope that was um, interesting or maybe helpful so thanks for watching <laughs>